to step forward, holds onto the Fisher for now. Febivin's got the ability to dash forward, won't be able to find it just yet. Shulker, they were looking for the fight. Press off, press off, press off. Find the target to do it. Not going to find it just yet. Febby, sleepy, trouble, bubble. Shulker can't find the R buttons, and they are the ones that lose the dragon. They lose control of the pit, and now they're looking for the fight. Cataclysm still available, but they're holding on to the trigger. Maybe it's fear, maybe it's this coordination. We just don't know. The railgun comes down, and nobody's died just yet. Sonic Wave resonating. Strike! Odo goes, oh no, as he's taken out the second kill for Misfits. Make that three. Abadag is the next target. The portal jump is not enough, and it's a double for B Boy. Frost, you said they only had to press R. Where were the R? Okay, well, here's the issue though. <laughs> of course, on the blue ultimate, but oh, that's the wave clear gun. <laughs> there it is. Death round oh out. my! Going over the wall, he's not afraid to get this one kicked off. Cask has come out, Ping's coming in. They're trying to track exactly where how far to go. They have vague information. They're there. Huge combo! And that's exactly what you want, but still, Misfits are not dissuade. B-Boy starting to turn this one around. Upset, desperate to hold on to this fight, but it's incredibly close. It's incredibly back and forth. The alts come out, the feathers are pulled back. That's the double kill. Dan Dan is going wild in the back line, dunking down on the OG Dreams. As Nuke Duck flashes to safety, as Zerse goes up in the air and immediately gets taken out. Misfits are we're gonna move into the base and end the game. What a fight. Misfits just turn it around right there as Alfari tries to go up big, but without anyone else. First in. we've really seen of set gameplay this game. He's got a 40 CS lead. It's a Cataclysm goes down onto B-Boy. He pops the Feather Sword, flashes away, but Chase from Limited on as he overextends. Here comes the TP. Call of the Forge God was met. Dada going into base breaker. Looking to melt some heads. Can't quite take down Crown Shot. Trick's able to get away as well. Vassal jumping in, catches Genax, and he's done. Great play by Misfits. Yeah, Misfits took everything in the kitchen sink, and now we see why that Zaya was picked. It's her ability to disengage the comes to teleports. So many teleports, the entire team now coming in. Mickey walking forward, Spooky Ghost are there, that's a slow Dan Dandy, and now Tori's in the middle oh. of the team, that's a beautiful ultimate, but the Tom Kench is there to stop, the Tom Kench is there to deny, Febivin is waiting over the wall, Patrick sees him coming though, he's gonna flash backwards, they're gonna take it, Patrick manages to get the Drake, he has the Black Shield on as well, but keep your eyes on B-Boy, cause here comes the Onslaught, Patrick next on the list, but Dan Dan coming in, that's a clutch barrel, that's a triple kill, and now Misfits are on the map. And it was a very messy team fight from Excel, oh, they those team fights, they have so much mobility, they have so many damage threats. Oh, He's gonna lock every single member down, and now they're just gonna shred through. Dan Dan on a rampage. Fevvin looking to lock up Cage. Oh, Patrick trying to dissuade any further engage, but my God, set! You don't want to be one a pirate. Definitely not outside of a pit. That's rule number one. He now going in. Just gonna walk him down. Denik trying to give him the tongue. Patrick running for his life. The third auto won't come in. Cage wants to turn this entire game around because Patrick is still alive. Hope is still alive for the side of Excel. Mickey and Patrick, Bevin wants to step forward, he knows one combo will kill Patrick, Binding will not connect, that's a fake LeBlanc, but Patrick still untouched, 2v3, LeBlanc now the support to try to turn this one back and excel. They feel really confident to do this because they have access to TP and Schalke do not. Aatrox walked back to lane. Oh, Lurox, Lurox not going to be able to steal in his first game on the LEC, Razor picks it up with the fight, breaks out, B-Boy's in trouble, forced to flash defensively, goes inside the mist, teleport now coming down, Razor will stay outside of the making range, Dreams gets tagged by a Winter's oh, Bite, he's about to get stunned, has the ability to get caught, Dan Dan is the man-man, not gonna find his target though, and unfortunately on the back end, it's Febivin that picks up the first kill, I really expected more from the Aatrox, but it is Febby that gets the he's kill. He's just super squishy, very immobile. Oh, That's Caps, no, this isn't good, this isn't good at all for Caps, Misfits, what were you doing, Caps? Yeah. Just stepped way too far forward. Yeah, That's so this duo has reset, it's then not it unreasonable all... to oh, think that the... No. Then it goes in, the charm comes out, and Caps goes down once again. B-Boy 2-1 and 2. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, Yankos gets the kill. Gate uh, the healing on Razor. But let's see if they go for this pick. Oh, great. Better song gets him out. That was perfect from B-Boy. He escapes the first fight of the fight. And G2, they thought they'd caught Misfits. But B-Boy, with a split-second decision to pop his ult, means that Misfits get to turn to the Baron. And this is what we were talking about, Betty, is the ability to keep that gold lead, to then snow... Also, oh, coming through from Destiny right there. That would have been the start to a fight. Because Febben had gone back to base. Here we go! go. The fight that you wanted. Instantly they start to turn. Upset still uncontested on the back line, but it doesn't matter. Two quick kills picked up. Baron is alive and well. And Here goes Febby! The hunt, the pullback, the damage coming in. Upset, desperate to survive on this one. Backing off now. Diana gonna have that one. Misfits just gonna barrel down the mid lane. They're gonna get a lot off of this. Just throwing, but I will be trying out when I get home. And kind of back to your question. Um, I think they're gonna be okay. Yeah, they'll be fine. 
Oh, maybe not. Lightshot Fisher coming down. Crowdshot's going to be stunned underneath the tower. Limit going in. Quickness won't connect, but Crowdshot's still alive. Oh, Ooh. no, he's not. <laughs> Razorg brings down the pain as the cast connects. Denik's going to land one more Winter's Bite, but no further chase for Misfits. Yeah, they're exclusively in a side lane where obviously uh, Orin is such a uh, low resource team fighting champion. The Rift Tower being started up. Trix looking for the steal. Goes in with the Cataclysm, but Bebo still has the Feather Storm. Trix gonna get stunned up. The bullet time coming in from the side, but the unbreakable wall was put up. And Denik was able to stop most of that damage coming in. Febivan here on the chase will get one more. Misfits, three mid lane tower, the target. A minute and 50 seconds left on the Baron buff as Limit goes in. Trick looking for the gauge as well. B-Boy's locked up. The corner of coming out. They're trying to get the kill, but look at the damage coming out from Bebivan. Trick is already down. Razork has the flank, and they're just going to stun lock this Orn in place. Sacre, well, that was not good as Bebivan just deletes someone. They're looking for the chase as the bullet time comes down. Gen X able to get underneath this tower, but not able to do too much more. And reminder that Set spent that entire... And Gen X behind Limit. This is your moment, Trick. Trick steals. They're hoping he steals. He did one last week. Can he do another? Call of the Forge God coming out. Trick jumping in. But they've reset. They're not going for it. It's not taken away as SK are unable to find it. And now the fight really begins as Danda gets into the middle of them. And look at the damage. They're just swept in the river. Misfits take four. They take the Baron and they're TPing in for the win. And you can hear it from the crowd. That was the bloodshed that they wanted. Further and further ahead. Uh, I think we lost the plot a little bit when the towers fell down, but here comes the Abyssal Voyage. All right, either Seth's going to die or he's going to get his opportunity for a highlight play. The pullback, the Freightspeaker, looking for a little bit more. Here comes the Haymaker. The Lee goes into the mid but Expect is running for the hills, trying to buy a bit more time. Dan on the way in. Five members already committed. The rest of the team, though, across the map for the side of Excel. Expect is down. It's open access. 60 second death timer means this should be a Misfits Baron. Miss. Excel can just end the oh, game. Oh, the wave clear! Dan Dan with a in. critical ult. They're stepping forward though. They're just going to tank the tower for this one. Maybe they can take down the GP. Cajal's been kicked back into the pit. He doesn't have enough time. He's just trying to slow them down. There's no way Torre can steal this one. But Dan Dan has backed off. 1600 health. Rakan not going to find it. Redemption for Razor because he secures that Baron. Oh. All right, time so now. Teleport's going to come in this time round from Febivin just outside the pit. Dredge line won't find a target, but the Sleepy Trouble Bubble could be gigantic. It's interrupted Razork. The Dragon will go the way of Shalka, but what about the ensuing fight? Forgiven with the great flash to get away from Febivin. It's a fight to multiple fronts. Dreams is already down. Lurox forced to run for his life. Abadag is being zoned out. And while Oduwame is in the nether realm, it simply will not be enough. Gets caught out by the Crescent Strike. Glacial Fisher comes down as well. And the Pearl's Cascade continues to tag him out. Sonic Wave won't find a target. And Razork stays alive a few seconds longer. Three members down on the Shulker squad and Dan Dan's not done yet. The Infernal Chains come out and Abadag is caught up. The Railgun comes down. Not going to find the damage just yet as Fairby finally finds another. Forgiven goes golden. He was the man that dodged the first skill shot, but he cannot dodge the last. It's an ace for Misfits and all Shulker got was a Cloud Drake. Shout out to Bevoy there with a very nice use lean uh, objective setup. They're now playing or were playing all three lanes. This will be the final team fight. It will indeed. Febivin 406 is coming in from behind. Razok takes a lot of damage, but he's put a lot down onto Oduamne as well. And the Crescent Strike comes out. Febivin dashes all the way forward. It's Denik that gets the kill, followed by Razork and Dan Dan. Once again, team play all the way around. The inhibitor falls and forgiven an Oda one there, the last player standing. So far they've had a great early laning phase, and uh, it's kind of been up to Yankos to try and rectify and save this situation. Rachel Fisher used in the bottom lane, the root's gonna come out, but here comes Razor. B-Boy almost dead, but Caps oversteps once again, and the chase is on. Misfits with another kill. Caps is three down already in this lane. Yankos not even on the right, right now. That dive did not go the way they want it. Props to Febivan, he had some great oh, outplays now to dive. Oh, poor baby Caps. <laughs> Just take it out again and Misfits, you can just jump back with a chrono break, you can just disengage with the Rakan. And Caps, he's currently 1,000... Good hook, trying to fake Denik into thinking that he was the target. Razark must feel pretty comfortable oh. with the knockback is there. Instantly the charm to follow, but now they can pull it out, but he can't click it fast enough. The Lantern is not going to work. Clean execution. They've been now chasing down Nukta. A bad choice. There's an optimal choice and there's an okay choice. And now that's going to be the cocoon. Zersei has to go up, has to come back down, is going to die instantly. Oh, Misfits. that's the worst possible case situation here for OG. They lose their jungler of all people in the river. So Misfits are already here onto the Baron. They didn't see it, is what I meant. And here we go. Cannon Barrage coming out. Razzle's actually gone quite low to this. Shadow trying to get in. Denik trying to act as a bodyguard. But he's in the pit. Oh, 
it's Bevan who secures it. Razzle has to flash away. He's taken down to the ignite. Dan Dan now with a massive haymaker. Long range moonlight visual from the side. The showstopper Dan Dan not able to get it, but B Boy just ripping them apart. Shadow able to dodge around. He jumps back in. Shadow, what are you doing? Oh, Shadow, you're a madman! Couldn't quite get it. Bevan able to survive, and now he's going to run towards those Nexus Towers. Heroic moment from Shadow right there to try to save the day, but they get.